Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Earlier this week, I posted a video that Microsoft had now increased the chat turns per session. If you are using the new Bing search with the chatbot ChatGPT, had increased the chat turns per session from five to six and had increased the total chats per day from 50 to 60. And as mentioned in that previous video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and we're planning to increase the daily cap to 100 total chats per day soon. Now, just to give you a quick update that um, Microsoft has now um, expanded and increased, as mentioned, uh, the limit to 100 chats now per day. So that means um, you will get now support for 100 chats um, total per day and still with six chats per session. So six chat turns per session, 100 total chats per day. That's now available in the new Bing with ChatGPT. Now, um, something else I also posted on um, earlier this week, um, which I'll also leave a link to in the description, um, the new Bing AI, Artificial Intelligence Chat, can now also be used from the Edge browser, the Bing app, and the Skype apps um, on your mobile phone. So that's available now for iOS and Android, which is on a controlled rollout, and that's provided that you have access to the new Bing. So if you aren't seeing the new Bing on your desktop or on your phone, you need to join the waiting list because it's still in preview and Microsoft is slowly progressively rolling uh, the new Bing out on a controlled rollout. So you need to join the waiting list. Now, um, as mentioned previously, and just to do a quick recap, Microsoft is also working on um, allowing you to set the tone uh, in the coming days of your chats. So basically what this means is that you will be able to set a balanced tone, which will give you a moderate lengthy answer using a balanced tone. And um, if you use a creative tone, that will mean you will get more longer and chatty answers from the chatbot ChatGPT. And these chat options are currently in the testing phase and aren't available yet uh, in the stable version, be that on desktop or on your mobile. And uh, because we are dealing with Microsoft here, it's not exactly clear when they will be available for all users. So just take note of that. Now, something uh, just to take note of um, over and above this, and just on a side note, really, for those of you who don't know, if we just head over to Edge Canary, which is a preview version, and this is also available in um, Edge Dev, both preview versions of the browser, and um, Microsoft's new Bing is available as a preview. And... Um, Basically, if you go over to Edge Canary, as, as um, I'm showing you in this example, you get the new Bing chat icon, which now appears by default in the top right, also on a controlled rollout. And if you download Edge Canary and um, Edge Dev, uh, you could get access to the new uh, Bing chat, which was previously Discover, which is now called Bing Chat uh, in the side panel. And you can actually compose that tone, as I was talking about a little bit earlier uh, in the video. And um, on your phone, if you are using the feature um, with the Bing app on your phone, you can join the waitlist from there with your Microsoft account where you could eventually get access to these new tone features and uh, the new uh, Bing search, which was previously Discover um, using Edge Canary and Edge Dev. And if we just head it back to uh, the stable version of Microsoft Edge here in the sidebar, you can actually see that the Discover button has been changed to the new Bing search, but still at this stage hasn't rolled out. It's still the Discover. So as mentioned, that is still in preview and making its way shortly uh, to the stable version. But as mentioned, I'm not exactly sh clear when Microsoft will roll that out to the stable channel. And um, 100 chats now per day and six chat turns per session if you are using the new Bing search with the chat GPT. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.